Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing some sketchbook practice in my Caddy Paper sketchbook. I picked the subject of coffee cups and I'll be using the Sakura Koi watercolors plus a couple of watercolors I want to use up. One of them is a Windsor Newton Cotman Burned Umber and the other is a blue which I don't remember how I mixed. I'll also be using a black gel pen, a Muji brush pen in grey and a water brush. Water brushes are actually not my favourite brush to use, but they are very handy, always ready to paint even when you don't have a water pot nearby. I started by sketching a couple of coffee cups in pencil. When sketching them, I tried to vary the perspective and also challenged myself to sketch them without looking at reference photos. Sketching is something I have to practice more this year, and coffee cups felt like the perfect subject for me. I love coffee and tea, and I'd love to have a signature way of painting both of these. Since I had a long tall space, I also tried to sketch a couple of lattes. The idea was to paint the moment the milk is swirling through the coffee. I absolutely love that moment, when both the coffee and the milk are still marbled and not properly blended together. It just looks so beautiful in photos, and I want to figure out how to paint a tall glass like that. When the page was full of coffee cups, I moved to painting the coffee inside the cups. To paint the coffee mix, I used either just a burnt umber or a mix of burnt umber and yellow ochre. I tried a couple of different ways of painting the coffee, from speckled top to a cappuccino heart and a more blended swirl.
On the tall glasses, I tried my best to get the sharp contrast of the milk against the coffee. then moved on to painting the glasses and cups. To paint the coffee cups, I went for shades of blue, teal and viridian, and alizarin crimson. I tried both a complete blend of color on these cups and a more stylized with unpainted gaps for added interest and dimension. The cup with a full blend feels too flat for my liking. For the tall transparent glasses, I definitely could improve on mimicking the transparency of the glass. But overall, I'm very pleased with the outcome. Some of the paintings I ended up lining with the Muji pen while they were still a little bit wet, just to see what would happen. I also used the Muji pen and the gel pen on fully dried paintings. And lastly, some of the cups I ended up leaving as is without any outline.
you have any questions about my sketching process, feel free to comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd also love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to be notified when my next video goes up, don't forget to click the notification button. I also post on Instagram and on my community tab here on YouTube the day before a video is going live. And here's the final result. My favorites are the teal cup at the bottom center and the tall glass on the left. Which ones are your favorites? Thank you so much for watching and until next time!